Let's start off with game number one. That would be Friday, December 17th at 11 a.m. Central Time. We have got the Bahamas Bowl, Middle Tennessee against Toledo. Uh, I will go ahead and tell you that I did make an official play on this. I am riding with Toledo. They are the significantly better team uh, overall. Uh, bowl gifts for this. Board shorts, ice shaker bottle, beach towel, string backpack, lapel pin, additional item to be determined later. So, you know, nothing crazy. Nice that you're getting a beach towel here. Toledo had multiple opportunities to have a better record. Jason Candle should be better than this. And yet, uh, you know, they did pick it up towards the end of the season. But uh, Middle Tennessee, man, I just, they've swapped quarterbacks. I think they're on their fourth quarterback of the season now. Bailey Hockman from NC State was supposed to be the guy for a long time. And uh, and he ended up uh, medically retiring. Like he just retired from football. So so in this situation, like, this is just a significantly better team in Toledo. And I think that this is a, you know, let's end the year the right way. MTSU has been awful in bowl games. Rick Stock still has uh, has not been good. Now, overall, through his season, he's been pretty good. But, uh, but give me your thoughts on this one. So, is this still double digits? Are we still at 10? Yeah, yeah, we're still at 10. So, in bowl games, where I don't really have a feeling one way or the other, or I have a question mark about something, I usually just take the dog and, and, and run with it. Um, I'm going to do that here because I think Bahamas Bowl, you have two teams from – pretty poor areas of the country that aren't very glamorous places to live and they're both getting dropped off in the Bahamas for a week. I would rather pick this game about 30 minutes before game time so I can see who looks hungover. Okay. But you're telling me that Middle Tennessee, well, you know, it's still in Tennessee and it's about an hour away from Nashville so it's not too bad. Toledo, on the other hand, listen, there was a war between Michigan and Ohio for the state of, for, for the area of Toledo and Michigan won and Ohio had to keep Toledo, right? That's what I know about Toledo. That, that, that's the case. It, they're the Midwest. I know the whole country right now is having like a weird heat wave, but it's still shitty to be in Toledo. I think they're going to be more hungover. This is about give a damn, not about talent. That's what these bowl games come down to. If this was for a championship, or the winner of every player got $100,000, I would take Toledo 100 times over 100, laying the points. But I just wonder about give a damn. I can understand it. So you're riding MTSU plus 10, uh, Middle Tennessee, and the, the fight in Rick Stockstills. I, I can understand it. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at Chris B. Giannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.